Question number eight on the uh, week three homework. Um, let's see, the one that I drew here, you know they're randomized. It says, in the general population, one woman in eight will develop breast cancer. Research has shown that one woman in 550 carries a mutation of the BRCA gene. Nine out of ten women with this mutation develop breast cancer. You, what you have to realize, many times in these questions, the first one they ask you, they've already given you the answer to. Look at the first question. It says, find the probability that a randomly selected woman will develop breast cancer given that she has the mutation of the BRCA gene. Well, 9 out of 10 women with this mutation develop breast cancer. So the answer to that one is that 9 out of 10. So equals 9 divided by 10. You don't have to do that, but the answer is 0.9. If you needed to round it to three decimals, it would be 0 0.900. The second question asks, find the probability that a randomly selected uh, woman will carry the mutation of the BRCA gene and will develop breast cancer. So this is both. So what we're going to do here is we're going to say equals 1 in 550. So it's got to be one of those. So 1 divided by 550 times the probability at 9 out of 10 of those. So 1 out of 550 times 9 divided by 10. You need your parentheses there when you're uh, doing this on your calculator, doing it in Excel, let's see what the answer is. 0 0.001636, and let's see, rounded to four decimal places, I would say format cells, round to four decimals, my answer would be 0 0.0016. And they ask a follow-up question, are these events carrying the mutation? and developing breast cancer independent or dependent? We can all see that these are very dependent. Question number nine on the week three homework. I know uh, students have trouble uh, with this one. It says, in a sample of 900 U.S. adults, 216 dine out at a restaurant more than once per week. Two U.S. adults are selected at random from the population of all U.S. adults without replacement. Assuming the sample is representative of all U.S. adults, completes part, complete parts A through D. Now, let's look at it. 216 out of 900 say they dine out more than once per week. All right, so the probability of one dining out, uh, one person dining out, would be equal to uh, 216 divided, this is one person at random, divided by 900 is 0.24, so a per, random person does not is equal to uh, 684 divided by that 900, and you'll get it 0.76. Notice that 0.24 plus 0.76 is uh, equal to 1. But the question, the first question is both dine out more than once. So this is actually going to be equal to uh, the probability uh, of the first one times the next one also dining out, which is 0.24 times 0.24, and I get 0 0.0576. Let's round that to three decimal places. So that's the probability of both of them, 0.24 times 0.24, or you could look at it as 216 over 900 times 216 over 900. I prefer to just make these probabilities. The probability that neither dine out more. Hmm. Okay, so that would actually be equal to this 0.76 times itself, okay, which is 0.5776. Let's, uh, let's format that to uh, three decimal places and see that the answer is 0.578. I put a couple in here that they do not ask you, but it helps to understand. The first does and the second doesn't. In other words, I'm picking two people, so this would be 0.24 times 0.76. First does, doesn't. 
All right, so this is going to be 0 0.76 times 0 0.24. Of course, it's going to give us the same thing. So there's four possibilities. Either both do, both do not, or the first does, second doesn't, or first doesn't, second does. So let's see what the questions were. The probability that uh, both adults dine out more would be 0 0.058. The probability that neither do, 0.578. The probability that uh, at least one of the adults, now, at least one. Let's think about that. First, let me round these to three decimal places. At least one. At least one. I'm going to come over here and say at least one dines out more than once per week. Think about that. So what works if both do? So it would be this probability, 0 0.058, plus the probability of the first, not the second, plus the probability of the second, but not the first. Let's see what that gives us. It gives us 0 0.422, which of course is the correct answer. So there's easy ways to do this, and I always set these up even before they ask me the question so that I'll have it ready. The final question on this, is any of these events unusual? All right, look at this one. This was one of the answers. This was one of the answers. And this is one of the answers. Are any of those less than 0 0.05? No. This one is just a little bit more, so none of them are unusual.